Let's talk about the three best remedies for psoriasis. If you have psoriasis, you definitely need to watch this entire video. I put a tremendous amount of research into this topic to summarize it, to make it extremely simple, and to hopefully help you. So there's some really simple things you can do that are non-toxic. The Greek word for psoriasis comes from sora, means itchy, and iastis means action or condition. So it's an itchy condition. Psoriasis is an autoimmune condition where your body is producing antibodies against itself. So the symptoms of psoriasis are coming from your own immune system. And certain parts of your skin are replaced every three to five days instead of every 28 to 30 days. So we have this accelerated reproduction of skin cells. And that's what creates the redness and the scaling and the little um, white flakes that are on the, like the little placking. So here's what's going on. There is a T cell dysfunction. The T cells are part of the immune system that's called the acquired immune system. You're not born with it, you develop it over time. And there's a dysfunction going on, an imbalance, triggered usually by an altered microbiome, either in your gut or a really, really bad sore throat, a strep throat or another infection. And there's several different types of T cells. The one that is involved is the T helper cell, TH17 it's called. And this happens to be your own immune cell that induces inflammation and in autoimmune diseases. And also it releases cytokines. So it has an additional inflammatory signal on top of that. Now, there's other T cells called the T regulatory cells that are involved in preventing autoimmune diseases in the first place. And those are usually suppressed. So we have a suppressed T regulatory cell and we have an increase in T helper cells, TH17. Now, if you do some research on this, you're gonna find some interesting data on the relationship between the T helper cell, TH17, and vitamin D. Vitamin D happens to be something that can suppress TH17. And so this is very interesting because vitamin D is not really a vitamin, it's a hormone that acts like cortisol in the body, which happens to be one of the big treatments for psoriasis, prednisone, an anti-inflammatory. So vitamin D is a natural prednisone without the side effects. The other interesting thing about this is that psoriasis is worse in the winter. Why? Because the vitamin D is going to be lower. Also, there's higher incidence of psoriasis the further you live from the equator. And if you have psoriasis, you're a greater risk for depression. And one of the big root causes of depression is a vitamin D. So we have vitamin D. Very, very important. I would recommend 40,000 IUs every single day. You need to take enough to penetrate sometimes the damage that's in the colon that's not allowing you to absorb the vitamin D. There's usually an altered microbiome, so you have to take a little bit more. Now, cod liver oil. Not only does cod liver oil have vitamin D and vitamin A, which is also good for the skin, but it also has the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. And one of the main symptoms of an omega-3 fatty acid deficiency is dry, scaly, red skin. Also, omega-3 is an anti-inflammatory. The last remedy is bile salts. Why? Because bile salts stimulate the vitamin D receptor. Bile salts allow vitamin D to work a lot better in the body. So if there's any type of resistance, let's say you have some genetic alteration in your receptor for vitamin D, it's called a polymorphism. This will help potentially increase the absorption. Also, bile salts directly modulate or control the T helper cell 17, the TH17 cell. So bile salts are gonna to help to regulate this dysfunction as well as stimulate the T regulatory cells. That's the one that puts the fire out. It helps to calm down the inflammation. So the type of bile salt I'm gonna recommend for this would be Tudka, T-U-D-C-A. I'm not recommending a brand, just get whatever you can find that has good reviews and take three to four per day. It'll be used to help you digest the dietary fat. What we want to do is to take an empty stomach so it can actually focus on helping regulate the immune system. And as far as the cod liver oil, take whatever's recommended on the bottle that you buy. 
And the last two things I'm going to recommend are fasting, very, very, very important for all autoimmune conditions, as well as no gluten at all in the diet. So go ahead and apply this information and comment down below. I want to hear your results. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.